Welcome back guys to my YouTube channel. It is the Hunter G once again after a very long absence. Um, I have been away from YouTube since last May actually when I just finished my first semester of college. And what do you know, I'm you know continuing the, at the same location I left off at um, at Susquehanna State Park. You know, it was a beautiful day and I've wanted to continue my channel for a while. Um, like I said, I was I had a very long absence. The last video was in early May, and that was the Honda Rant video. It didn't do that well, and obviously, honestly, I don't think the quality of that video was that good. So, I mean, it didn't get that many views, but I'm obviously not too worried about it. It was something funny, and it was something I wasn't planning on doing that day. So, but anyways, welcome back after this very long absence. I'm gonna get into why I was absent. I could say, you know, during the summer, you know, I had tons of things planned. I was gonna go to tons of car shows. I was gonna modify the car a lot. And I can say is, all I can say is, you know, I had terrible luck at the beginning of summer. Um, the re And I had nothing to record because my car was down. Um, it broke early that summer. And what would happen was, um, there was a show in New York, or it was Hot Rod Weekend in New York, Pennsylvania, and that was early June, so it was about a month after I uh, finished my last semester at college, so I, in that time frame, I really didn't have anything too, you know, interesting I wanted to record, but Hot Rod Weekend in New York was something, you know, that I was going to record, you know, it was, it's basically like Cruise Week in Ocean City, if you know what that is, but it's closer to me obviously it's about an hour away from me so basically that day what had happened was um you know i went and hung out with tyler and brandon um, which have been on the channel before at the one parking garage show um, i went to their house since they live in york um hung out with them and i was also hanging out with a buddy uh, named josh simmons uh, which has a fifth gen generation camaro um we basically had a plan just to cruise the strip all night um a bunch of people will sit out all the parking lots watch the hot rods go by and, you know it's great to just cruise around all night you know see all the different cars you know trip your tires do your burnouts you know show off for everyone um so we participated in that um we were all cruising together it was me tyler brandon and my buddy josh and we what ha what happened was we got separated from Tyler and Brandon so I got back in contact with the, and got back in contact with them after we separated and we all decided to meet back at their house because we had two other friends coming um, Ethan and Layton which have also been on the channel before um, so we we're just gonna go back to the house you know meet up with them and then go out again so on their way back to Tyler and Brandon's house um, I ended up stopping at a red light um, up to the red light, you know, I pushed in the clutch, let it cruise in like fourth gear. Um, I, I, I didn't disengage the gear, I saw no point, I just let it coast and push the clutch in, let it coast. And when I got to the red light, I left it in fourth gear, and as the light turned green, when I went to take the shifter out of gear, I could not. Um, I basically had to use all my force to get it out of gear. Um, which was honestly really weird. I wasn't expecting it. You know, I didn't think at the time, you know, something was totally screwed up. Um, so I ended up going, you know, it drove perfectly to Tyler and Brandon's house. Um, that was the one time it did it. Well, I let the car sit for maybe 15, 20 minutes. You know, we were all sitting there bullshitting for a while. And we were going to head that back to cruise. And we headed up to another red light that's on a slight hill. Um... Once again, this time I let it coast in like third gear. I pushed in the clutch, just let it coast. Got up to the hill. I could not get out of gear. I was using all my strength I could to get 
the gear shifter out of gear and it would not budge. Try double pumping the clutch and doing everything and I'm on an incline so I have traffic behind me, I'm rolling backwards, I'm doing a whole bunch of stuff, trying to get up this hill. So I could not get it out of gear so I ended up pumping the clutch up the hill, burning the hell out of it, stopped in a neighborhood because I have no clue what the hell is going on. Um, I didn't assume the worst at the time, which was nice, but, you know, I just stopped. I figured, you know, maybe my transmission's getting hot, you know, let it sit. And then I remember, you know, I had a small trans, trans leak that, you know, I would be catch a whiff of the trans fluid every now and then. So I know I had a small leak somewhere. I'm like, well, maybe it's low in trans fluid. It was kind of stupid at the time. I wasn't really, didn't really know what to think. Um, ended up getting new transmission fluid in it, tore apart the whole interior, put new transmission fluid in it. It didn't help. Um, first, second, fifth, and sixth gear were perfectly fine. Third and fourth gear were all gummed up. So basically my transmission was trashed. Um, what ha happened was the shift fork bent and it, it was just not going into gear the whole way. And when it would go in gear, it would lodge and that's why I couldn't get it out. So, you know, me working as a college student, I'm working a $10 an hour job. So it took me months to save up for the transmission rebuild because the T56 is a very expensive transmission to rebuild, especially when you're a college student with no money. So I spent months, so I had nothing to record. Um, just find months to buy the rebuild kit. You know, I went ahead and got like the perfect rebuild kit for it. Um, it's Everything's built up to like 650 torques, so it's gonna last me a while. Um, I said if I was gonna do it, I was just gonna do it for future proof, and you know, it would've been fine. So it was months, like near the end of the summer until I got that transmission finalized. So you'd think after that, you know, my luck would start coming back to me. Well, what do you know, two days after my transmission was installed, my rear end started this horrible whine and it basically exploded. Um, what happened was the pinion bearing let go, um, the pinion smashed back into the gears, shot up into the case, cracked the case, the rear end was done <laughs> so this was like three weeks before my college next semester started at college so it was in the garage I took it to a garage um, spent out the ass to get it done um, and it's finally back but the thing is the car isn't 100% yet um, it has an open diff in it <laughs> which is not the best well, um, the dealer that shipped the rear shipped the wrong one so I'm waiting on a positive unit don't know when that's gonna come but I'm, I'm waiting on it you know it still runs and drives just fine Every, anything else you know nothing much has changed on the car it has fully built trans now it has you know it has a newer rear it's not built whatsoever and it's in fact it's worse than what the stock one was but it's back on the road, it's driving, it's not grinding gears anymore, you know, the transmission is smooth as butter, it's, it's great. Well, now that I have the car back, you know, I want to do more videos with it. Um, I think, you know, the F-Body community should have a YouTuber focus on the F-Bodies, because F-Bodies are, really don't have any presence in the car scene, I would think, you know, I'll go to a big meet, and I might see in like one other Trans Am. So, you know, people look at the Trans Am, they, some people think it's a Camaro, you know, people mistake it for a Camaro, they don't know what it is. And, you know, I'd like to be, you know, someone that can spread people to be aware of, you know, the F body uh, community, you know, the fourth generation Camaros and the fourth generation Firebirds, you know, it's a small family and I'd love to expand on that. Um, I fell in love with the car, and I love my audience to fall, fall in love with the car. But I'm sad to say I'm done drag racing. Um, after, after, you know, I exploded that rear, after all the abuse I put it through, you know, the 10 bolt rear in these cars are one of the weakest rears GM ever made. And they, especially with me and being a manual, they do not put up with a lot of force going down a drag strip. So I'm done with that. However, I have my first autocross event this coming Saturday, which I'm definitely going to record. Um, 
I'm going a different path with the car. You know, I've mentioned it before in my YouTube channel, but I'm dedicated to do this. Um, it'll be, you know, I'm not expecting, you know, the car is going to be really great. I know the car is a lot of body roll, and now with the open diff, it's not going to be where it should be. But I'm going to see what I can. I want to see how many cones I can kill. Um, but we'll, I'll, I'll see how it does, you know. If I enjoy it, um, I might probably end up heading in that direction. Uh, I might spend a lot more money on uh, suspension parts. Um, is it a performance, you know. I'm kind of at a peak right now with performance. Um, my tune can be, uh, be finalized a little bit more. But at the end of the day, I'm literally done until I start, you know, tearing into the motor. Um, you know, cam, manifold, you know, hedge, etc. Um, and I don't honestly don't have the money for that right now since I'm in college. So I'm going to start with the more basic stuff. Um, I'm going to see how it does at the autocross this coming Saturday. Um, obviously, it's not going to be up to par with a lot of the cars there. But, you know, I'm, I'll see what it needs and I'll start researching more. You know, UMI is actually a local company here in Pennsylvania. So I'd love, you know, to start uh, branching into their product line because, you know, they have great suspension parts. And, you know, they have a big influence at the Carlisle events here in Pennsylvania. So I'd love to, you know, see how what their, if their parts are as hyped up as, you know, people make them to be, you know. But as of right now, I thank you everyone for coming back to the channel. I am definitely glad to be back. Um, my, I think my journey is going to continue here at the channel. Um, and I, I'm really excited, honestly, to be back uh, recording because I had such a long absence. And I had people asking, you know, where I was. Um, because, you know, there's a few people like, hey, you're, you're the only F-Body YouTuber I found, you know. But I'm back. Um, if you're looking forward to more videos, I'd love for you to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you want to see on the channel because right now I'm going to have the auto autocross event and I don't know what else you'd like. Um, anything you'd like on the channel, just comment, let me know, and I will try my best to get more content out for you. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.